<laughs> what's up YouTube? It's Marco from the Glove Bros doing our uh, part two of our What's in Our Bag video. As you guys saw, Matt posted his yesterday. So uh, now it's my turn to make my video. I'm just gonna, I'll just talk about the bag first. Uh, it's, just, it's just a Nike duffel bag. I don't know a model number or anything like that. I picked it up around Christmas time last year and I'll probably get a new one around Christmas time this year. So um, this thing is old, has wire on it. But it, it gets the job done. I don't need a big bag. If I know I'm just pitching that day, I won't even bring a bag. I'll just bring my glove, batting gloves, stuff like that. Um, I actually want to start with pleats. This side. <laughs> That's why my bag only has one side pocket. Yeah, I put them in either one. It doesn't really matter. Um, as you guys saw in my last video of what's my bag from the winter, I still have my New Balance 4040 V2s. What are those? These are very dirty. They're disgusting. If you look inside of them, they're ripped a little bit there. Just dirt, you can really hear dirt inside of them. A little bit on the front toe, cut from just like sliding across the mound or whether I was on in a bullpen or on, not like turf, like grass probably. Yeah, you can get pitcher's toe from that. Uh, so definitely new, new cleats this year. These are even small. These are like a 10 and a half. I wear like a 12 and a half. <coughs> so these are way stretched out. <laughs> So uh, I'm just gonna throw these out to the side. You guys have seen those before. New cleats coming. That wasn't loud or anything. It's all good, man. Um, Matt's Nike DEP two, I believe. Um, I don't know. It's like the DP one, two, three. I don't know the difference between them. Um, I don't play a lot of first base, but I usually keep a first base glove in my bag, whether it's the 44 or either of the DEPs, because um, I actually take reps at first sometimes, like in practice. Um. This is actually my favorite Nike that Matt has. I like how it's smaller. I feel like his other DP is kind of floppy. And I don't actually like the, the 44. I like the leather on him. I'm not going to trash the leather or anything like that. But it should, I just don't like the floppiness. I like the thick heel on it. And I like the pocket the way Matt kind of... Matt actually hasn't shaped it yet. I like how the previous owner shaped it. So maybe when Matt reshapes it, I'll still like it. I'm going to keep this here. Uh, what's next? Let me just get the ball out the way. Um, my Pro 200 S2. Let me find a baseball. I actually don't have one in my bag. Look what I got. <laughs> um, this is my, uh, my Horween. I got this probably over a month ago from Select Gloves. Um, I actually love this thing. I just started to break it in like, from what it was from the previous owner around a couple days ago because my season ended. Um, I'm getting this relaced probably close to next week or the week after that because me and Matt are sending a couple gloves to, uh, t or I think. Yeah, we'll probably send them after, uh, Thanksgiving. Yeah, after Thanksgiving because Matt might be going away or whatever. So, uh, I'm going to be relacing it to Maroon, but, uh, it's nothing on a trash to the lace. You could tell that the lace is a little old. Let me zoom in. It's a little thinner, a little dry. Dry lace. It's dry like the Horbean leather. Yeah, the Hor <laughs> I, so I just want to put new lace on it. I actually want to put the, I don't know the size on it, but it's the lace that Matt has on his custom. I feel like it's very durable, but still very stretchy because I like to keep my infill gloves loose. So um, once I get that, um, I'm probably not going to hot water it because I heard that hot watering the Horwains can leave the water stains. So um, I'll probably just break it in naturally. It already has some breaking. Show you the ball in the pocket. It's already broken in. The way that the, the previous owner broke it in, he basically like added a hinge here. I'll show you when I squeeze it. It like completely kind of falls apart. I don't feel like it affects the glove as much when I feel it. I feel like when I feel it, every time I'm going to tune a pinky in the pocket, if I'm going five finger, because I do go five fingers sometimes when I play second base, or if I want to like just working on practice or something like that, I'll go five finger. So, um, this is definitely going to be my gamer, probably not for sale or trade unless it's like an amazing offer. Because I definitely do like the Horween leather. I don't feel like it's heavier. I like the color on it compared to the Japan tan. So, um, this will probably be staying. Then I have my infill backup, or was my gamer this year. This is, thing is basically retired. This thing is old. I got it last year in a trade from... I think Gorilla Gloves. Yeah, yeah Gorilla good. Gloves. Um, what happened to him? Yeah. Uh, I broke it in the way I like it. I had it for new with tags. 
I stretched the fingers. I kept this one tight though, because if you keep it loose, it kind of gets that outfielder's close, like the, the triangle. I can't really demonstrate it. But um, I put the big flare on it. Um, that's basically it about this. It's overall a good glove. It's kind of soft, doesn't have a lot of leather. The liner is kind of starting to fall apart. Mac, you get that? Oh, rolled under the bed. Gone forever, Aaron Gone Hernandez. Forever. You get a ball. There you go. Thanks, man. I'm not. I'm not mad. I can't make plays in YouTube videos. Plays at PM. Um, yeah, but the lace of this is good. I don't think I'd ever have to get this relaced. I feel like it's staying strong. I don't think I'm gonna be using it that much anymore since I have my Horween. So uh, this will just kind of be like a shelfer, or if it's raining. I don't even really want to use it. I kind of just want to retire it. I like the way it is now. I love the clothes on it. Probably how I'm going to break in all my infill gloves for forever. What's next? I'm actually going to get away from gloves because I just saw my helmet here. Uh, it's just a maroon Easton helmet. It's old. I got it probably when I was like 13. When I first started going to like high school. The padding starting to fall out. I barely even hit. So I don't, what's the point of getting a new helmet? I don't I don't find any point. It's going to be loud, so I'm going to give it to Matt. Just throw it to the side. Um, my Franklin batting gloves. Um, what are they? CFX Pro? Yeah, CFX Pro. Oh you like that? <laughs> you like that? Um, I got these because my uh, maroon ones Ugh. just got so crusty and started to rip on the thumb. Looks like all my batting gloves really do that. So um, these are probably going to be retired. Like I'll use them in the winter. I'm definitely not going to use them in the next season. But um, I might actually get another pair of batting gloves for the winter. Just like cheap ones. Like Adidas ones or something like that. I don't know. I don't even know if I want to stick with Franklin. Maybe I'll try like Nike or something like that. Or Evo Shield. Um, my maroon Evo Shield. Um, I haven't broken in the pad yet. The it's, pad is like, it's still somewhere in, It's still in, in the real room. plastic. Yeah, so um, I actually just use this for show. I like to wear them. When I play the infield, I feel like it makes me look cool. <laughs> also, anybody who has that exact guard in a extra large, um, please DM me or comment. Okay. Um, I'm looking to get one. My summer team just switched colors, and um, I no we're gonna be on. Blue. I'm gonna be on maroon, <laughs> so I have red, white, and blue stuff I need to get rid of. I could trade or um, we could work out a deal. So let me know if you have one of those. Comment or um, DM me on Instagram. Oh, what's next? My uh, pro orthopedic sleeve. Uh, I actually don't know if this is mine or Matt's. We have like five of them. We kind of just grab whatever one we need to put in our bag. This is actually one of the dirtier ones. We have cleaner ones than this. Um, I wear these when my arm hurts or when I have to um, warm up or something like that. I actually don't like to wear these in the field. I can't wear them on the mound because they're white. But uh, I feel like it just puts a lot of like pressure on your elbow when you're trying to throw. I feel like it's a lot better than Evo Shield sleeves. I feel like the Evo Shields are very thin. Once you use this and then you go back to the Evo Shield sleeves, they're just gonna feel like garbage. It's gonna feel like paper thin and your, your elbow is not gonna get any support from it. I'm gonna just throw the softball to the side. I have all these softball. Every one of my gloves in my bag has a softball on it. Um, back to gloves. My, um, Long Tar to Hide Pro Telvin M. Um, this is my mesh. This is my backup pitching glove. Um, I still probably will use this a little bit because my custom's like all blonde. So if it's like a muddy field or something like that, I might not want to use it. But um, I, in the summer, I wasn't using it a lot. I only used it that one game when Matt went up to Cooperstown to take all the pictures. So um, it won't be retired, but it probably won't be for sale. Because I like the way I broke it in. Matt also likes it. So I'll probably keep that. Um, I'll show you guys a ball in the pocket. Pocket. That's basically that with it. Maybe I'll release it. Maybe I won't. I don't know. He's not releasing it. Probably not. Um, my stretch band. This isn't the one I actually use. My teammate has better ones. But I would just keep these in my bag. Just in case he's not here. Or something like that. We have ones in the bullpen already. These kind of have good resistance on them. Uh, I don't even know where we got these, but every pitcher should have stretch bands in their bag. Just throw this on. Oh, a piece of bubble gum. Don't know how long that's been in there. That could be really old. 
You're almost at 10 minutes there, buddy. I am good. I just gotta get the bats. I'm actually gonna save the glow for the bats. <laughs> My, uh, Easton XL1. Which isn't even ours anymore. I actually just made a deal with this to get rid of it. I'm not gonna tell you what I got for it, or if I added something, because maybe it's better. But, uh, I'll probably make a video on the new bat when I get it. So now you know I sure did it for a bat. Um, you fucked up. <laughs> this bat, it was nice. It was a little unloaded for me. I never did put grip on it. I just kept it like this. What is, okay. Um, <laughs> great pop. I do like the new XL one, but not like the green one, the, the all orange one from last year. A teammate had it. He had it at 33, so sometimes I would take BP with it or whatever. Um, this is my Easton Andre Ethier model. It's a 33. Me and Matt split this. I'll use this in the cage. Um, I don't know. I feel like Matt had a deal lined up with this. So this might not oh, be ours might be. anymore. Um, so this overall is a good bat. We got this from Glove Cowboy, I believe. Yeah, and his and giveaway. And his giveaway. Swole fella. Um, it has this East End Hyper skin, I believe. Um, it's very good, actually. I would compare it to Lizard, but I'm kind of running out of time, guys. So, um, I recommend it. I feel like it's actually more expensive than Wizard, though. Yeah, I think it's like an extra dollar. Yeah, or something like that. Um, I if I had to pick one, I'd probably pick Lizard. Maybe we'll make a video on the comparison. Call hey, sorry guys, uh, my girlfriend called, so we're just gonna jump right back into it. All right, so now I'm on my uh, my D Marini uh, Pro Maple. I actually don't know the model number. I feel like it's D two seven one. D two seven one. Yes. I got a little uh, crack on it. I don't remember how I got that. It's not a crack. It's a chip. Yeah, not a crack. Like someone cleated it. Yeah. So um, this bat is probably one of the best wood bats I've had. I know it's the composite or whatever. I do like the the maple. Just right straight up wood. Couldn't think of like the word. Like the Victus Maples or like the Murchie Pro Cuts. Um, I'm probably getting a new wood bat in the winter. I'll still be using this off like the cage when I want to hit like faster pitching like 85 plus or something like that. So um, because I don't want to break my wood bats or anything. And I don't want to overuse my metal bats. So that's my Demary wood bat. Now last but, not, last but not least, I'm just throw my bag over there. My uh, Custom Art of Hide Pro 200-9. Um, this thing is amazing. It has uh, already, I already gave it the shape I like. Right now what I'm trying to do is stretch out these fingers and then probably go in there and tighten it as much as I can so then the long lace will be down to here like my custom is. Um, I feel like that looks really cool. I feel like when I'm pitching from the stretch and it's got the little hang, I feel like th that looks cool. I also feel like it's gonna pop even more from the maroon lace to the blonde on the mesh it's just all black so maybe you barely even see it probably from 60 feet away but i feel like now with this flashy glove i got it's gonna pop um i definitely recommend the custom auto hides i feel like they do come in stiffer though i feel like it's actually similar to pro preferred camel leather um i actually don't have matt's brian down here so i can't really do a little comparison and i'm running out of time so let me just show you guys a ball in the pocket this up over there so um that's basically it guys um comment like subscribe keep asking for videos i know tomorrow matt will be doing his part two which is his catching bag so uh stay tuned for that uh so have a good day